Hey guys, what's up? It's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today's video <laughs> has been super requested to say the least. Pretty much everybody that I know has told me to make this video or has asked me, are you making this video? So, I'm making this video. So today I am going to be doing how I did my makeup in middle school. So if you know me, you know exactly where this video is going. If you do not know me, I will insert a picture here of what my makeup looked like in middle school. Yeah, I'm gonna play this Pop Hits 2010 um, playlist on Apple Music because when I did my makeup like this, it was around 2010-ish. I was 11. Yeah, it was around like 2010, 2011. Yep, let's do it. Um, okay, so the products that I'm going to be using in this video, I tried to either get the same exact products that I used for my actual makeup in middle school or ones that are really similar because I couldn't find some of them. Also, my mascara that I use in middle school, I think is the Maybelline Great Lash. Is that even Maybelline? I don't even know. Yeah, Maybelline Great Lash. It's the one that's um, pink and green. I did. I used that one in middle school, but I didn't feel like going out and buying another one, so I'm just using another drugstore make or mascara. And then I think I I don't remember what exact um, eyeliner I used. I just know it was like a pencil one, you know, like a. You'll see. Um, but I have one like it. And then for the okay, I'll just get to that when I get there because that's the best part. All right, so I'm just gonna reference this picture and go ahead and dive in. Actually, let me put my hair up or something. All right, so let's begin. All right, we're gonna start with, I think I started with concealer. So this is the Maybelline, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is super popular, I know, and I know I use this in middle school too, so I think it's been out that long. And this is just the shade Neutralizer. So I'm just gonna get some of this. I haven't used this in forever. Oh, sheesh. Okay. I don't think I used primer, so I'm just starting off with this. I'm just going to go in. I don't. I just think I use this under my eyes, so I'm just going to do that and just see what that looks like. And I put it on, like, spots, probably. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to blend it in with my beauty blender because I think I use a beauty blender... In middle school too this is obviously not the same one because this is a newer one and i did not wet it so i'm not going to wet it and we're just going to go ahead and blend this in i think i i don't even remember if i put it on top of my eyelids but i'm going to do that right now all right i'm using these to go back on i'm so indecisive this is ridiculous i'm just going to change this one Okay. All right, so next, I did not use foundation. This is what I used for foundation, I swear to God. I used this. This is the exact thing I used. This is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster Glow Boosting Season to Season Bronzer. So it's the one, I just bought this today, so let me actually open it. So this is what it looks like. It has, if you've never seen this before, it has, um, oh, there's that brush. I remember that. It has like the, um, each of the seasons, so summer, fall, spring, and winter. So like they're each like different shades of the bronzer. And what I actually used to do is dip this brush into whatever season it was and apply it like that and like apply that under my eyes. So I think I'm gonna do that first because that's kind of funny. So right now it's like winter, spring. So I'm gonna like mix these two together and just, you know, go over what I just did on, under my eyes with this. It smells weird. Oh, how did I actually just pull this off? All right. Um, so then I think this is what I did next. I remember one time I was in sixth grade and I think that's like when I started doing this whole look in sixth grade, but I remember I did this like what I'm about to do and like did that all over my face and people started to ask me like 
wow you're so tan like did you like go to the beach or something i literally took this is the same brush i'm pretty sure this is the eco tools i have no idea what brush this is but it's really dense and big and i literally just mixed them all together then i just literally put this on my face oh my god what the hell I thought I was really cute. Hello? Thank you. I don't think I even blended it down my neck or anything, so uh, I think I'm just gonna stop here. That was my foundation. Just the bronzer and the contour was like really all, or not the contour, the concealer were all I did. I might've done blush. But I feel like I didn't. I don't remember. I don't remember doing blush or like. <gasps> yes, I used the Maybelline. I think it was Maybelline, the Dream Bouncy blush. I don't have that. I totally forgot about that until now. So I didn't buy it. Sorry to disappoint, but that's the blush I used. And I would like use my finger and like. Yeah. Okay. Next. All right. So I did not do eyebrows. I can tell you that because my eyebrows were atrocious. You can reference back to that picture that I did. I showed you guys earlier. So I guess next is just eyeshadow. So this is the highlight of the look and pretty much what was like the most iconic about my middle school makeup. So many people to this day say like, remember when you used to use that sparkly eyeshadow all over your eyes? Yeah, I, okay. So here's the backstory on the eyeshadow. So um, back when Andrea Russett was still Ghetto X, Fab or X Forever or whatever her username or channel name was I was obsessed with her videos let me try and actually go back and find this video that inspired my sparkly eyeshadow so in this, um, this is really old. It's the hip platinum eyeshadow. okay so she actually did a video recreating my old makeup look yes That's and I yeah, I definitely think that that was the same one. Okay, so basically the whole entire point of me looking that up for like 10 minutes was this is where I got my inspiration for my eyeshadow from Andrea. And I'm just going to recreate the look that I did for a solid like three years of my life. Like this is literally the only look I ever did. Actual eyeshadow that I used, I could not find. It was in a palette. I mixed two of the shade or of the shadows and they were both like the whole palette was shimmer it was just a palette of shimmer i don't remember the brand it like wasn't like a well-known brand um couldn't find it anywhere looked forever couldn't find it so i just bought one of the nyx um prismatic eyeshadows and this one is in the shade tin so it just looks like this it's pretty close it's silver like it'll work what i used to apply them like apply the eyeshadow was these i think it was actually these like these are the real ones because i found these like in the very back of my makeup store it like all my makeup and they still have like remnants of sparkly eyeshadow on them and they're from claire's too claire's cosmetics i'm crying okay so i'm gonna use these eyeshadow applicators the, these clean ones because I'm not gross. All right, so I'm just gonna get some of this on the little thing and just freaking go in. Oh my god, it literally just fell off. What the hell? Wow, these are pigmented though. Like, good job, NYX. Oh my god, okay. Let me get the music back on because this is just so iconic. Yes! Amazing gonna keep going in i have to keep switching because i don't have a mirror in front of me i'm just holding my little compact one so i keep doing this <laughs> that's pretty close i'm not even gonna lie so i'm just gonna continue on gotta do it underneath too because can't forget that <sighs> this is ridiculous did i do this Life. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I'm crying. Girl. I 
is a bop. Oh my god. That's it for the eyeshadow. Moving on. I think I did eyeliner next. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Master Drama or the Maybelline Master Drama by Eye Studio. Um, like this kind of eyeliner, you know, like the pencil one or whatever this is. Okay. So I just did like literally a line on the top and a line on the bottom. So going ahead and doing this. I haven't used. A pencil eyeliner. Oh, good lord, this is dry. This has not been used. Let me try and like do something about this actually. Nope, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and line my tight line. Oh, Lord. my waterline. I just literally put eyeliner everywhere. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much what I did. And then the only other thing that's left, wow. That's literally how I feel right now. It hurts me not to do my eyebrows, but I know I did not do my eyebrows in middle school because I didn't even know you had to do your eyebrows. All right, we're just gonna do mascara and finish this up. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. I think I was smart enough to do this, hopefully. So in place of my Maybelline Great Lash, I'm just gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black because it's just another drugstore one. And then I am just going to go ahead on the top with one coat of this. I'm going to go ahead on the lower lash line with this just a little bit. I saw that in the picture I had some on my lower lash line, but not like a whole lot. Yep. I think I got everything. I think that's it, you guys. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You guys, this is so accurate. <laughs> it hurts. Um, here's how I did my makeup in middle school. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video and hope you guys think this is so funny because I do. Thank you to everybody who requested me to do this video. This is actually really funny and I had a fun time doing this because this is actually so much like how I did my makeup in actual middle school. So I remember one day I was on the bus and this girl who was in the high school was like, um, maybe next time don't put as much eyeshadow like it's like she's like there's a lot of eyeshadow under your eyes so like you know like your makeup looks really good but like maybe just don't do as much eyeshadow under your eye and I know that that was her way of trying to be like what the f are you doing um and I probably should have just you know taken that as like my cue to like chill with the whole sparkly eyeshadow thing but didn't get the memo yes I didn't do lips so like that wasn't a mistake that I just forgot the whole lip part I didn't do anything on my lips 
So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And now I'm going to go take this makeup off and cry. <laughs> okay, see you guys next video. Bye.